Well, the way the credits work is a film will come in, whether it's a $20 million budget, they apply for the tax credits. At, you know, you, you, you make your movie, you, you turn in your budget, your final budget, you go through everything. When the movie's over, you turn in your expenditures. Basically, it's what you've told them what it is. You can't tell them, okay, the oh, budget was really $25 million. You know, it's a $20 million budget. You turn in your paperwork. Um, you then are entitled to a 25% tax return or tax credit. You're not going to get 25% uh, of the money back, but what you're going to do is you're going to get credited for the money. So if you spend $20 million, uh, you're talking uh, $5.5 million back. So with other um, states that they have, do they just have various percentages? And so Mass Massachusetts is getting a lot of studios and pictures because it's a larger percentage and everybody's just going to where the biggest chunk is? Yeah, I think there's a couple of different things. I think, that, you know, the, uh, I think Louisiana is 40%, New Mexico is 25%, but then you get more depending on the amount of crew you hire from New Mexico. Uh, Michigan is 40. I mean, there are different places. One of the things I think happens is if you're coming to Massachusetts to shoot a film, you're probably going to be able to hire 90 to 95 percent of the crew from there. So you're saving money in the sense of you're not paying per diems, you're not flying people in, you're not renting cars, you're not paying for hotels, and more of the money that you have in your $10 million budget is going on the screen as opposed to going in a hotel's pocket or you know just different things like that. Um, so they come here for that. Now Michigan has a lot of films going on, but they spend a lot of money bringing people in. You know, you go to places like North Carolina, they have a built-in crew. Louisiana, there's built-in crews now. New Mexico, they're built-in crews. Massachusetts, they're built-in crews. And Rhode Island, which is really, you know, all of New England is sort of everybody works in the same places, you know, together, whether it be New Hampshire, Maine, Massachusetts. Connecticut tends to be, you know, a lot of people out of New York. But they'll come here for that. They know that over the past you know, four or five years, there's been close to 30 films that have shot here. They know they can come here and not have to worry about specific things like that. So, um, the governor of Massachusetts is proposing a cap. So, that means, um, what is that, kind of like first come, first serve, and once we run out of, yeah, I mean, if we get to that amount, there's no more? Yeah, they've proposed a $200 million cap. So, <laughs> the one thing, you, you know, you, it's a catch-22. You know, well, first of all, it's a proposal. It isn't, a, you know, it isn't in effect. This is right now, if you go on Facebook and if you go to various websites, there's a lot of people talking to their state reps. There's a lot of people trying to fight this happening. Um, so if the catch-22 is, yeah, you want a big movie to come because it's going to last a long time. It's, you know, you may shoot for 15, 20 weeks. Uh, you may prep for five or six weeks. You're going to get a big thing. But if that budget is $150 million on that project, boom, there's 150 out of it. But the other thing is they're not capping the above the line. So if the director's making $2 million and, you know, it's like, say, Night and Day came and shot. You know, Tom Cruise probably made $20 million. Cameron Diaz probably made 10. The director probably made 5. So $35 million of that wouldn't be considered under that 200 million. It would be the above the line, you know, would, would not be considered. So it would be everything else. So if you're looking at a movie like that that's 150, now you're really talking 115, even though it still, still takes up a lot of the money. So what will happen is the possibility of, you know, 20, $10 million movies may come this year as opposed to five, $50 million or $40 million movies. So you hope that, you know, it continues. You hope that they don't pass it. You know, because one of the things is, is what they don't realize is they talk about, okay, we have to pay back, we have to give credits for $100 million. But that $100 million was probably, on the other end, probably $300 million was actually spent in the state. You know, if a budget, if a movie comes in and it's a hundred million dollar movie, at least forty percent of that budget is being spent in the state. And we talked about hotels, but the hotels, uh, cars, uh, people buying equipment, people renting equipment, people who work in you know on, in in Massachusetts who are getting paid, people going to the grocery store, people going to the movies, gasoline. I mean, you name it. People are spending. They're not driving 
to New Hampshire. Maybe they're driving to New Hampshire to buy liquor, but they're not driving anywhere else to spend that money. They're spending their money in the state that the movie's being shot.